Hakim? Hakim? Is it going to pick him up, pick him up? Hakim? 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 And the same with the big brother. And the same Bala, if you've got a nice girl for it, we can... Om Gangan Pak Kapitung Hawa Mahati Anam Kapiya Kapitung Hawa Mahe Niti Nantwa Niti Pati Kung Hawa Mahe Jaso Hama Aham Ajami Garbada Hum Atpaha Mahajan Mahajan Sahi Garbada Hum Om Bhur Bhur Swaha Shri Ganapati Yen Maha Om Swasti Na Indro Vida Swaha Swasti Na Pun Shaha Vishwa Deya Swasti Na Stakshu Arishte Mi Swasti Na Vrihas Patir Tadatu Tayom Tadadon Pur Pur Swaha the father gets lucky to the one that hung. No, he's very, 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 Oh, sorry. Are you the video guy? You got a good picture of that. One more. Take a good video. Yeah. I'm gonna check it if it's not right. Om Ganapati Kung Hawa Mahe Paya Nantwa Priya Pati Kung Hawa Mahe Nidhi Nantwa Nidhi Pati Kung Hawa Mahe Jato Mama Ama Hanyani Garbata Atma Hanyani Garbata Hanyani Om Sibur Bwarta Hanyani Garbata Hanyani No, no, yeah, 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 yeah,
that you are now, as the supreme family is now taking on the responsibility of welcoming the superstar that has now become a part of your family, whom by you are now going to hand over your daughter for the to come. Right?
महे
appropriate that I'm here fulfilling this particular role um, on this very auspicious occasion. Ladies and gentlemen, you may rise to welcome Rakhil Suprasad to the hall. I think it's a very apt that I read this very special poem just before he enters. And it says, one day somebody will walk into your life and get it right where everyone else has got it wrong. One day you won't have to wait for a call or a text back. One day you won't have, won't be the only one giving your all. One day you'll finally meet someone who wants to help you grow in life. One day you'll finally meet someone who isn't afraid to give love another chance. One day you'll finally meet someone you can trust with everything. One day you'll have your best friend, your biggest supporter, and your biggest teammate we're all wrapped up in one person. Ladies and gentlemen, the man of the moment, Mr. Akhil Subhasad. to the most important occasion of her life. And this one, and I'm sure you've heard it before, she walks in beauty. She walks in beauty like the night of cloudless climes and starry skies. And all that's best of dark and bright meet in her aspect and in her eyes. Thus mellowed in that tender light which heaven to gaudy day denies. One shade more, one ray less, had half impaired the nameless grace which waves in every raven tress. Or soft, softly lightens over her face where thoughts serenely sweet express. How pure, how dear their dwelling place. On that cheek and over that brow, so soft, so calm, yet eloquent, that the smiles that win, the tints that glow, but tell of days in goodness spent. A mind at peace with all below, a heart whose love is innocent. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you Mr. Risha Subramanian. Thank you. 
standing. We will start our afternoon's proceedings with prayer. Join me in reciting the Ganesha Mantra and the Gatri Mantra. I'll recite it and explain it. I think it's very apt for us to, to know the meaning of these things as we usher blessings on this very auspicious occasion. Om Gam Ganapatya Namo Namaha Shri Siddhi Vinayak Namo Namaha Ashta Vinayak Namo Namaha Ganapati Baba Maurya Om Gam Ganapatya Namo Namaha Shri Siddhi Vinayak Namo Namaha Ashta Vinayak Namo Namaha Ganapati Baba Maurya Om Gam Ganapatya Namo Namaha Shri Siddhi Vinayak Namo Namaha Ashta Vinayak Namo Namaha Ganapati Baba Maurya And what we've done is we've asked Ganesh Baba to remove, and he's got the power to remove any evil, any obstacles that may present themselves this evening. May our function be blessed with his many wishes and all of your wishes. And we'll move on to the Gayatri Mantra. Om Bur Baswa Tasavetu Varenyam Pargo Devasya Di Mahi Vyo Yona Prashodaya Om Shanti 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 Om Bur Baswa Tasavetu Varenyam Pargo Deva Devasya Dimahi Dio Yo Na Prashotaya Om Burbaswa Tasavitu Varenyam Pargo Devasya Dimahi Dio Yo Na Prashotaya Om Shanti 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 It goes to say that, O oh God, the protector, the basis of all life, who is self existent, who is free from all pains, and whose contact frees the soul from all troubles, who, who pervades the universe and sustains all the creator, the energizer of the whole universe, the giver of happiness, who is worthy of, of acceptance, the most excellent, who is pure, the purifier of all. Let us embrace that very God so he may direct our mental faculties in the right direction. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. You may take your seats. Afternoon, so it's going to be a, a quiet one, no ESCOM jokes. So it's going to be a, a doubly difficult uh, job for me this afternoon. But I, I welcome you and I, I thank you for your presence. I thank you for making time to join us um, on this lovely sunny day. This is a very important moment in the lives of Rahil and, and Durusha, and we invite you to leave behind the worries and the concerns of everyday life and join us in the celebration of their marriage. This is also an opportune time. If you think about it, it's year end. I think most of us can say we've had a, a very long year, a long, tiring, worrying, dark year. And this is an opportunity for us not only to share in Darusha and Raquel's love, but also to reaffirm and appreciate the love and the friendship we experience in our lives which is very easy to be forgotten when we run through the year in January to December, I think has been very trying. And I think many of us have forgotten the little joys and the little privileges we've had just by being alive, being able to breathe, being able to laugh, a little bit of mirth. So may we all celebrate by being fully present, cell phones away, 
Panditji will be conducting the ceremony and he will be educating us about our um, Sanatan Dharma. So we'll be fully present in our short time together. Drusha and Rakhil have chosen the setting to be married because it provides the appropriate backdrop for the public affirmation of their love. They view marriage as a coming together of all levels, body, mind, spirit, and a marital commitment includes the willingness to be open and vulnerable and the courage to take risks. Marriage is a conscious act of will, and to remain married, we must continually renew our will to be married. And I think many of us that know me, my husband's probably know that my husband does often many wants to cross to me. His will to be to marital house can be easily forgotten when I'm having a tantrum. So when we decide on marriage, we affirm that we face fears that are a necessary part of establishing and nurturing an intimate relationship. And you, Raphael and Drew, have made the commitment to create and recreate a conscious partnership. Those of us who are married or in relationships, we take this time to conscious, consciously reaffirm our commitment to our partners and to ourselves. Marriage consists of entrusting our deep selves into the loving care of another. And I'll repeat that. It consists of entrusting our deep selves into the loving care of another. So there are no secrets and there's no holding back. There's, there's no filter, unfortunately, for my husband. There's no filter. But you trust that that person will be able to take care of you and help you through the difficulties of the journey ahead. It is also an emotional and spiritual act. The spiritual aspect of marriage must be embraced openly, seriously, and completely for the marriage to endure. Brides and grooms commit themselves today to each other in sacred trust. They embrace conflict as well as peace, to work as well as play, to struggle as well as to host, to give as well as to receive, and to be with and to stay with, and to move on and to move towards each other. Today, Rakhil and Andrusha personally selected each and every one of you to bear witness to the forming of their union. So by you sitting here, you literally are custodians of their happiness. You're not just a wedding guest, but a custodian of their happiness for the coming years. And how often is it that we all come to a wedding, we witness it, we go through the motions, about it. But I think in today's society it's important for us as elders to also embrace our past as witnesses and to guide and to provide guidance to, to the marital couple. In honor of this event, they will say sacred words and perform age-old rituals and validate this event in your presence, the presence of their family and their best friends. Ladies and gentlemen, Having said all of that, you are looking splendid. Please give yourself a round, a round of applause. I'm going to say Well done. Enjoy the proceedings. Have a lot of fun and enjoy the afternoon. I hand you over to my esteemed Panditji and my partner in crime, Panditji, Shami uh, Samsudar. And I was very pleased to have a few minutes to chat to him yesterday and I think he was taken aback by the, the number of questions and personal questions I had to ask about him. But I, I'm very pleased to, to hand you over to him. Panditji Acharyaji, Panditji Shastri Lakshman in India. And he's told me that it's his deep passion to propagate in Hinduism in as many ways as he can. So Panditji, thank you for your presence, thank you for your guidance and we look forward to the function. Thank you. that uh, the stage is an uh, area of holiness and if you could remove your shoes prior to, to stepping up.
members of the bride now welcomes to this auspicious hall the members of the bride group like i've explained to your mummy that the one thing i'm going to tell throughout the wedding you see i'll be actually constantly uh, actually pointing on the one point that marriage is not just about two people it's not about rakil and kerusha got it right eh? finally the names are very bad always getting wrong but it's about the Suprasas family and the Subramanian family. And the two main most important people in this relationship is Derusha and Rakil. As per our scriptures, Derusha and Rakil are going to be here from today. Come later on, I'm going to ask uh, Rakil a nice question. Give you a little bit of a hint now as to whether it's going to be great great grandfather or which you said it was Liverpool, am I right? No, it's a Man United boy. <laughs> you too. Okay, so in the near future we'll be having a South African Man United team. <laughs> okay, as to what we're going to do now is called a dark party. Dark party is whereby the elder brother of the Superstar family is here to welcome you into the family of the super son. You are here taking this step in life. Anybody forced you? Anybody held a gun to your head? Anybody said to you, if you do not marry Rakil, I'm going to kill you? There is no small Rakil or small Virusha anywhere that we don't know, we don't know of. <laughs> Unfortunately, these questions have to be asked. <laughs> so, in married life, when you begin this so-called married life. You are going to be into the space of another person and another person is going to be in the space of you. So there's going to be goods, there's going to be bads, there's going to be evils. Bad does not mean that it must be taken to heart. Bad means that it must only be there for that point in time. If for any reason you find that anything that you want in life and you cannot get it from Rakil. That does the next man that you have. That is why he's here to do this important part as the bigger brother. He's now going to take the responsibility of your well-being in this Yuprasad family. So any problems you have, you feel free to call him. As the big brother, he's allowed to give Rakil a slap and say he's out of line. On the same line, as the big brother, he's allowed to give you a slap and say you are of line. So basically, he becomes the overall seer of good. And he must not allow any form of negativity to come between you and your future husband in the next couple of months. We'll still call him future because he's still future. Okay, agree? Understand? Agree with what I'm saying? Agree, ma? Perfect. Om Hari Om Tatsa Hari Om Tatsa Om Aham Nirvita Sadhyata Mahagam Tadishmanam Karishi Om Atunayan Rakshumam Tam Chitram Rabam Sangubhaya Mahasti Dakshine Nam Right hand Sprinkle this water on you Om Apavitra Pavitra Vasarva Vastanku Yapiva Yasmari Pundari Kakasabhaya Vyantraha Suchi Hari Om Tatsa Om Bhurpa Swaham When I say Swaha you drink it Om Keshava Eva Swaham Again Om Narayana Mahaswaha Again Om Madhava Yeh Mahaswaha Wash your hand Govinda Yeh Maha Vishnave Maha Madhu Sudhanam Trivikramayana Maha Vamanayana Maha Siddhrayana Maha Rishi Kishari Namaha Om Pranavasya Prabrahma Rishi Paramatma Devika Devi Gaiti Chandha Pranayam Ingvini Yoga Ham Om Tatsat Bhurkoswaha Om Shatamanam Bhavati Shatayurve Prusha Shatindriya Ayubhinyam Virya Matam Dante Hari Om Tatsat Bhurkoswaha Om Shatamanam Bhavati Shatayurve Prusha Shatindriya Ayubhinyam Virya Matam Dante Hari Om Tatsat Bhurkoswaha Left hands We do external purification of the body We have part today 
we we'll have another part. This time it's pretty short part, right? Using your ring finger, middle finger and the thumb, put three together, with the tiny of the right hand. Take the pointer and the tiny and keep it away. There we go, do like that. Touch the water, touch the lips, right to left. Vanu Gimeyasi has to, now again, to your nose. Nasa Orbe Pranu has to, again to your eyes. Akshin Orbe Shakshara has to, to your ears. Karan Yorbe Shotam has to, to your shoulders. Vaha Orbe Balamu has to, to your knees. Urbo Orbe Ujo has to, in your right hand, it's complete on you. Arishtani Miyengani Tanwami Saha Santuhu. Ariyo Om Tatsas Bhut Vaswaha. Om Purvarekhato Varaha Agdeyam Karudvaha. Dakshina Padmana Pastu Neri Tiamadu Sudhanaha. Paschim Macheva Govindu Vayagyam Tujanadha Putri Shri Pati Rakshan Aishanyami Maheshwaraha Ruvam Rakshad Yata Vaho Yagunan Taksha Anattama Yatstanam Akshad Vishu Mama Hri Dhukraha In any marriage or in any form of life you will look whether it's an animal or whether it's us as human form. We are the highest form of animal life that God has created. You will find that it's always been good and it's always going to be bad. But do we want the vibrations of bad negativity? We do not want it. Right? So let's protect ourselves from that so-called bad vibrations and keep all the unwanted people away. Right? Let them stay where they're supposed to be. Everybody got their own houses. So let stay in their houses. ओम ओम विष्णु 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 श्रीमद् भागवत महापुरुषा विष्णु राजपवात मानस्य अद्य ब्राह्मण द्वितीय प्रदादे श्री श्वेतावार हा कल्पे वैवस्पत मन्वन्तरे अष्टाविंशति तामे युगे कलयुगे कलिप्रथम चरणे दक्षिण आफ्रिका देशे हाउटिंग चेत्रे जोहन्सबर्ग ग्रामे हाउटन एस्टेट हाउटन एस्टेट नागरी ओम कृष्ण पक्षे अमृतितो शनिवार रविवार वासरे सूत्री स्मृति पूर्ण कृपला प्राप्ति अर्थम अस्माकम सप्तम बाणम सा परिवार नाम द्विपद श्री गणेश पूजन धरती पूजन कलश पूजन विवाह संस्कार पूजन हवन यज्ञ कर्मा हम करिष्याम सही ओम विष्णु ओम विष्णु ओम विष्णु प्रणाम ओम ठीक बोलो ठीक फाल ठीक कम जब फाल तो नहीं है शुक्लम भरतम विष्णु शशि भरनम चतुर्भुजम प्रसन्न भदानम जय के सर्वाभिन्न मुक्ति शांति अज्ञान पद्म अर्धम गजान नमः शम एक दंतम भक्त नम एक दंतम उपासना है ओम श्री ब्रीम क्लिम ग्लोंग गन गणपति ये बर बर दा सर्वजनम समानाय करिए सिद्धि महा पाजीयो पाजीन सुरप्यामि अर्धयम सुरप्यामि मुखो आश्मन्यम पंचाम्रत्यम समर्पयामि ओम भूर्भुस्वाह ओम गण गणपति ये नमः ओम तत्सत भूर्भुस्वाह गण गणपति ये नमः ओम शिद्धोदाक्ष नानं वन्ते वन्तनिशि शिद्धोदाक्ष नानं समर्पयामि ओम भूर्भुस्वाह ओम स्नानं तरेना आचमनियम समर्पयामि ओम भूर्भुस्वाह गण गणपति ये नमः Ariyo Om Tatsat Bhurtvaswaham Om Alankarati Akshatam Subhrapyami Om Bhurtvaswaham Om Ganganapati Maha Alankarati Akshatam Subhrapyami Om Bhurtvaswaham Om Ganganapati Maha Riddhi Sajji Gyam Namam Haridram Kumkumam Subhagi Drabhyam Subhrapyami Om Bhurtvaswaham Om Ganganapati Maha Om Deepam Darshayami Om Bhurtvaswaham Ganganapati Maha Dhupam Krapyami Om Bhurtvaswaham Ganganapati Maha Nevidyam Subhrapyami प्रयामि श्री दक्षिणाम सुरक्यामि ओम भूर्भुस्वाह ओम गण गणपति नमः हम
मंगलम कुंदरी काक्षु मंगलाय चनुहरी सर्व मंगल मंगल ये श्रेष्ठवास साधिके किरण ये क्रम के गाओरी नारायणी नमोस्तुते अरियो Ladies and gentlemen, that concludes the third part. It's a very important step, you know, when you are brother-in-law, because you are officially appointed the protector. And, and like I said, marriage is a long journey, but you're actually not in it alone. You've got all of these witnesses around you, but now you've got an official protector. So Darusha, make good use. <laughs> Having said that, we will continue with some presentation of her gifts and her trousseau. Um, we're very, very blessed to have many sisters in our family and they will now proceed to, to hand over gifts to Darusha. And from there we will uh, proceed to the next step um, of the function. Thank you very much.
your time. Um, we'll now move on to the, the va Vara Arshana. And the Vara Arshana is where the father of the bride welcomes the groom and performs certain rituals. But it literally is setting the tone for the relationship that the groom is going to have with his daughter and treating her as well as he, as he has for the last uh, lifetime that she's enjoyed at her family's home. So I welcome Uncle Sigrid and Raquel onto the stage. Thank you. Yeah, 
for you not for the time being. Brother Hinglo. Dear devotees of God, we're going to start with you can may, you may now be seated. I'll just for you to welcome the bride. It's just a form of respect that we pay to the bride. Sorry, I forgot that you were standing. <laughs> We are now going to be pro proceeding with Kanyadan as uh, my partner in crime had explained to you in very uh, slang type of English. We say Kanyadan. Kanya means daughter, Dan means donation. So basically, this Subramanian family today is now from this point onwards handing over their daughter to the Stupasas family. And I think we will all with pleasure accept that as I do the rituals. Om Ayom Tatan. Hold your daughter's head, Ma. Why you put your hand underneath Mommy's hand? Okay. Son, when I'm going to tell you, son, when I tell you, then very slowly you pour water on that uh, piece of dough that is there and let it collect in the in the thai, you can touch the hands here as well. Om Ari Om Tatsat Achyatihi Subramanyam Yam Nasyaham But you are right now. You are right now here? Manasegra. Manasegra. Manasegra Nam Nasyaha Sasa Dharam Patni. Dayani Di. Dayani Di Nami Nam Kanyam. You are right now. Derusham. Derusham Haginaham Swatam Yit. Yattaha Shakti Alankri Yitaham Kanda Dahi Atmiyantaham Vastraham Yoga Chandranaham Prajapati He Devyat Naham Chat Guni Krishn Jyoti Shto Bhoma Dahi Ratraha Shat Praha Prapti He Kamo Yaham Rakhil is right here. Story for some. Rakhil Nami Vishnu Rupene He Yaudatra Advihe Maraha Malikye He Matyaha Tavaha Patni Patni Tven Tupyam Aham Sampra Sampra Pratpadehe Repeat after me, son. Say Om Swasti, Om Swasti, Om Swasti. Son, take that door out of your sister's hand and place it on the thigh. Om Take this one. Om Mangalam Bhagavan Vishnu Mangalam Garu Radvijay Mangalam Kundari Kaksh Mangalai Karu Hari Sarva Mangal Mangalye Shve Sarva Sasadhi Ke Shan Ye Tram Ke Gauri Narayani Namastudhe Hari Om Tatsat Gurpa Swaha Om Let it over to your daughter into the hands Two of you together, yeah? Put your hand there, you can hold a hand until I tell you not to, right? And every other time you want to hold a hand. It's always in weddings, the bridegroom, we have to tell him all that. Alright, pass it over. Hari Om Tat Sat Gur Swaha Take the towel and wipe your sister's hand. The coin that you put for you. Oh, you got that. Alright, you got something for me? Take this chair away down, I don't need this chair. Right. You, you take you two of you take leave? We're done, yeah.
going forward, the entity becomes one. And like I explained to you earlier on, very soon I'm sure we'll all be, be called one by one, whereby we'll be doing what we call Nam Sanskar. Right? Obviously the first one will be Janam Sanskar and thereafter we'll be doing Nam Sanskar. I'm sure some of you will catch up what I'm trying to say. I wouldn't elaborate on it at this point in time. Thank you. Two of you stand up. each other. We move on to the J Mala. The J Mala and its gardening, which we all have come to know in a number of years, but is a, a wedding ritual in which the bride and the groom put fresh flower garlands on each other's necks, followed by an exchange of gifts or sweet beet. The ceremony is not, is not just the meeting of two souls, but it is the union of two families and a merge of traditions, values and customs that makes the entire wedding complete. It is an ancient tradition which has been followed from um, the dawn of time and ever since Indian weddings um, originated. Uh, generally, the uh, groom's sister uh, has the honor of actually uh, handing over the, the garlands and we may continue now with the ceremony. Thank you. Om Om Yashyam Yaha Prithvi Yashyaha Sendra Brihaspati Yashyo Bhavashchaha Ma Vidya Jasho Maha Prati Padyatam Om Mangalam Bhagavan Vishnu Mangalam Garura Dvajay Mangalam Kundari Kaksha Mangalaye Tanu Hari Hari Om Tatsaham We are asking our witnesses to bear witness to what we are doing. Put your hands folded. You are asking of them to bear witness to everything that we do. As Hindus, in our lives, every time we meet people, we always put our hands together and we either say Namaskar, Namaste, Manakam. Why do we do that? We, as the people that wants to greet the following person in front of us, we say we're greeting the divinity within that stands in that individual. Okay, face each other, put your hands down, hold each other's hands. Don't fight to hold hands. Every time I tell you to hold hands. Om Yadashni Manaschaha Duram Dishnoho Pava Manuvaha Hiranya Parano Vaitanam Satvam Mama Anasmaham Give a hand, put a chair a little bit forward. No, 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 no,
That's what you do to her every day from today, eh? <laughs> Put his chair a little bit forward. ओम्यंतमयात्मजाग्वेदस्तेनीजस्वापदस्वचनावधिचास्मान्प्रजयापाशिवेप्रमावर्चसेनानाजेनसंदेशस्वाहा इदं ॐ्यंतायमयात्माजात्वेदसे नित्यस्वावदस्वाच्छदावदेचास्मान्प्रजयापशिभिरभ्रमवर्चसे नानाजिनसंदेश्वाह Om-Dra-Yi-Swaham-Idam-Indra-Yi-Idam-Nam-Aham-Om-Dra-Yi-Swaham-Idam-Indra-Yi-Idam-Nam-Aham-Om Om Suriya Jyoti Jyoti Suriya Swaha Suriya Varcha Jyoti Varcha Swaha Jyoti Suriya Suriya Jyoti Swaha Sajur Devayan Savitra Sajitan Dabitta Shang Suriya Vetu
ओम धातुर दिव्य सार्वसाधन जब चाक्षण मम्मी तो स्वाहा ओम गुर प्राणाय स्वाहा इधम प्राणाय इधम नाम हम गुर वाय 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 प्राणाय स्वाहा इधम वाय वाय प्राणाय इधम नाम हम आपू दूति स्वाम इधम हम आपू पास रूप स्वाहा याम इधम दिव्य नाम चराशु पास की थाया मामाज्य मिला भूमि दिव्य कुशवाहा ओ वैश्वानी देव सबुतर दुर्जान प्रास्वा यत्वत धंतना अस्वस्वाहा ओ ओम बन्नो अग्निह वनस्वाहा विद्वाहा नेवस्या हेदो वायस्य निस्तिता यदिस्तो हो वानही मा शो शो चानु हो दिव्ये द्विशानी प्रामुत्या हा मुस्मत स्वाहा इदम बरो नाभ्यम इदम नाम महा ओम सत्वान हो अग्निबामु वाहो अव्या यक्षोवान हो वरुणा हम वर्ण हो बीरि ही मृत्तिका हम सुवानो ने इति स्वाहा इदम वरुणा जम इदम नाम हम ओम इमम ने वरुणाय श्रुति हावा मध्या चाव्रित्या हम तम वस्तुर्चा के स्वाहा इदम वायुनाय इदम नाम हम ओम तत्वयामि ब्रह्मना ब्रह्म वंदा मनास्तत्ता शस्ता यज्ञा याज्ञा मनु अविर्भी ही आ आहिदमानु वरुणेहा वो जुरुशां स्वाहा मे आयु प्रामुषी स्वाहा इदम् वारुणाइ इदम् नाम हम होम जिसे चक्म हम वारुणा शस्त्र हम यज्ञ पश्चता विष्टता हा माना हा तेवीरनो अत्ये सानो विश्वे मानस चक्रु मरुता हा सत्र हा स्वाहा इदम् वरुणाइ साविते विष्णे विष्य विश्वे जो दिवे जो मारुजे जा स्वर्गी जा इदम् नाम हम ओम विष्टा शाहा विष्टधार मा अग्नि गंधवा हा साना इंद्रहम ब्रह्मा चक्रनाम पातु तस्मे स्वाहा इदम् रीताहि साहित्राहि दामनाहि अग्नाहि गंधवाये इदम् नाम हम ओम विष्टिशाहा विष्टधामा अग्नि गंधवस्ता हा श्वेता दायु कुसर्वो माको मनुता माये हस्वाहा इदम् पोषिति हि भायो सातो भिया इदम् नाम हम ओम साग्वम हिष्टो विष्टा सामोसु योगंदरवाह सा इदम् साना इदम् ब्रह्मा चत्रहम् बातु तस्मे स्वाहा इदम् सुगम विद्ये विश्वे सामेसु यह गंधा अरवाहि इदम् नाम हम ओम साग्वम विष्टा विश्वास नाम सूर्यो गंदरवाह वस्तस्या मारिचे योग सरस्यो अभ्यो नाम तब्या स्वाहा इदम् मारिचे भायुज्यो सर्वयो आयुज्यो इदम् नाम हम ओम शुष्णाओ सूर्यमिश्चाह चंद्रमा गंधरवाह साना हा इदम् ब्राह्मणे चक्रणु वातु तस्मे स्वाहा इदम् सूर्याहुने नाश्ये रश्माये चंद्रमा से गंधरवाये इदम् नाम हम ओम इदम् चित्ताय स्वाहा इदम् चित्ताय इदम् नाम हम ओम चित्तिष्ठा स्वाहा इदम् चित्ये इदम् नाम हम ओम आपुतम् स्वाहा इदम् आपुत्ये इदम् नाम हम ओम अद्युष्टे स्वाहा इदम् आपुत्ये इदम् नाम हम ओम विद्यस्तम् स्वाहा इदम् विद्यस्ताय इदम् नाम हम ओम विद्ये त्रिष्ठाय स्वाहा इदम् विद्यताय इदम् नाम हम ओम मानस्य स्वाहा इदम् मानस्य इदम् नाम हम ओम शब वरिष्ठाय स्वाहा इदम शब वरिष्ठाय इदम नाम हम ओम दर्शा स्वाहा इदम दर्शाये इदम नाम हम ओम पूर्णमासम स्वाहा इदम पूर्णमासाये इदम नाम हम ओम ब्रिहस्ता स्वाहा इदम ब्रिहस्तले इदम नाम हम ओम रतन तरंचा स्वाहा इदम रतन तराये इदम नाम हम ओम प्रजापति रजे नित्राये विष्णे प्रजाये दुर्गाये प्रत्नाये किष्टु तस्मे विष्णु सामान मंत्र सर्वाये साप्रहो इव्याहो बहुवा स्वाहा इदम् प्रजापति जाये निजाये इदम् नामम् दस फ्यू आहुतीस जो लू फाइव आहुतीस इस वे वी आस्किंग गॉड द मर्सी ऑफ गॉड टू कम and whatever negativity from now on would that wants to come into your so-called magic space, that God will offer protection to that negativity, so that that negativity doesn't become an instrument in our lives. Okay? 
ओंभूतापति सामवत्तमस्मस्मेंद्यावाद्यावहम स्वाहा मग्नाये भूतायना आधिपति ओं इंद्रो ज्यो नाथ आधिपति स्वाहा इदम इंद्राए ज्येष्ठाए नाम आधिपताए इदम नाम ओं यमापुत्राए आधिपताए स्वाहा इदम यमापुत्राए आधिपताए इदम नाम ओं वायुंतरे ऋष्टि ये आधिपति स्वाहा इदम वायु ये अंतरिष्ठा सा आधिपति इदम नाम ओं सूर्यो देवो आधिपति स्वाहा इदम सूर्य देव आधिपताए इदम नाम This one, sir. Only you can offer uh, a proper key. We are asking your ancestors, your lineage, right? So basically, now, like in our case, mummy and daddy still here, yes. but your grandfather is not here. So we take from your grandfather, your great grandfather, and your great great grandfather. Three lineages backwards, right? We want them to come and pay homage to us here and give us the protection from the ancestral side. That together as husband and wife, when we're going to step out, wherever we go, we're going to gain the protection of the ancestors. Om Agnir Aitu Pratmaho Devastaham So Yahe Pratmaham Munatho Matyo Prashnaham Tadbaharaja Varunaham Yoham Tam Yatye Yam Shri Putraham Adham Nortraham Swaha Idam Agnai Idam Namaham Samadhi Om Yusupya. ग्राजे कथाए प्रजाशे नो दिव्यायु आशानो प्रत्यक्त अस्तु मत्र पुत्र अनाथ कवि बुद्धाए तमीय स्वाहा इदम अग्ने इदम नाम ओम स्वस्तनो अग्नहे दिव्या पृथ्वी विश्वना इंदीय यता या यत्र यजस्यम मायी विविष्टातम पृष्ठनाम तदस्मासु द्राविनम देहि चित्रम स्वाहा इदम अग्नाये इदम नाम महम ओम सुगंधु पत्रना प्रादिक्षणहम न आई ज्योतिष मध्ये आई जारहम न आपिंदो मित्रो न अग्रहादि यक्षतु नो अप्यहम कृत्नो स्वाहा इदं वेतं इदं नाम ओम परम ऋत्यो आं प्रहे पंचम यत्तार अनय्ये इष्टरो दिव्य नाम चक्षुस्तो मात्रहि वृन्वत्ते इति ब्राह्मी नाम प्रजाप्ते श्री मूत वैतन्यम स्वाहा इदं नाम वेदं <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you are enjoying uh, the ceremony and you are taking moments away from it and you will have a think about it maybe tomorrow or sometime next week. And I think our Pandji is doing an amazing job of explaining things very nicely and very slowly. And it's important for us to be engaged and to be present and to shower our blessings on this amazing bride and groom. So I thank you for your attention. We now move on to the Lacha Homa, and it is the fried rice offering. And it is, um, Lacha literally means puffed rice or barley like popcorn. The bride's brother places a handful of uh, the lajra on his sister's cupped hands and the bride shall place the palms of her hand over those of the groom and make three very special offerings. The ghee, uh, sorry, the, the puffed rice symbolizes prosperity for her new family and the merging of two families and the three mantras that are being recited. The first one being, oh Lord, Permit me to leave the home of my parents and proceed to the home of my in-laws and my family. May I never be separated from my husband. May I bring prosperity to my new home. May my husband be endowed with long life and may both families experience peace and prosperity. And finally, may my husband experience progress and prosperity and may our mutual love always grow. And I honestly thought it was just popcorn. Uncle Sagan was going to offer me some a little bit later. Apparently he's made extra, so if you need any more popcorn, that's the table to go to. But what an amazing...
amazing significance. And, and who knew that those were the three very important steps of mixing popcorn, bringing friends and family together. So we've got two very special um, gentlemen that will be doing this act. Uh, the bride's brother, Devesh, and um, the younger brother, the Sebala, the, the very cute Sebala. <laughs> I had to, he is taken, unfortunately. <laughs> are now one. They've met each other, they've greeted each other, and now there's an exchange of gifts. Generally monetary value, I believe it's a lot of money. If you need petrol money, you know who to contact. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Put your hands under his hands. 
านแล้วจะไม่ได้ปุ่นก็มันโทรศัพท์อย่างเรื่องโมเดลอะไรก็แฮนด์โฟนไป now in our lives this offering that we are making to a g r e d i e n t you notice that the power has been burning all along throughout the procedure of the funeral it's simply because a g r e d i e n t is the strongest d e v that we have in the universe of the three million deities a g r e d i e n t is the only d e v that has the power of taking this 120 kilo body and reducing it to little c o l o r e d ashes so it's also there to destroy all forms of negativity Going to come to us. It's also there to provide us with good dharma, good righteousness, and moral values. And most of all, the duties that you will now have towards Rakil as a husband, and the duties that Rakil will now have to you as a bride. Now take notice, Rakil. She's leading you. We have a reason for this. I'll tell you the reasons later. Om Swaha. Okay, now, all that's in your hand, yes. Okay, now we change over. No, no, you only use left, that's right. Hold his hand again. Hold his hand, another round. Om Tupyam Gani Parinyaha Vahantaha Surya Vatu Nasaha Puranaha Pati Bhyo Jayam Dha Agni Rajaya We just have to go slowly. That's how we, that's how men like it all about. It's slowly, baby steps. Your hands on top of his hands, ma. Okay, now these are the vows that we are actually taking now. We are actually saying to the Lord, Agni Dev, that we are offering you the first one we offered you for the Dharma. Right? The second one that we are offering now is for prosperity. Together, husband and wife, we have to prosper. And in order for us to live a comfortable life, we must have material possessions. Right? We have to. A lot of people say materialistic things means nothing. But when materialistic things means nothing, then you don't have a life. Some, some of our people say without money, there's no happiness. I turn around to other people, you're shopping in the wrong mall. Om Swaha. What is it? Om Tu Pyam Gahini Paryaha Vahantra Surya Matu Nasaha Puranaha Pati Bhyo Jam Bhyo Agnai Prajapati Thing you want in the relationship. Thank you. Happiness and the desire to enjoy each other. Like I said in the beginning, you are way two individual people, but from now onwards you're going to become one entity. So you got to enjoy her company. She has to enjoy your company. In that way, we will be a happy family. Om Swaha. Swap places. Son, you go on to that side. No, uh, Derusha, no, no, Derusha. You, just, Derusha, you step this way to the side. Son, you're going to do all the work. Okay. That's why we call her the wife. All right, now you hold her hand, and you take her down. Om Tugyam Gaheni Par Yaha Vahanta Sukhyaha Vahapu Nasha Punnao Pati Bhyo Jamandai Om Hands Your hands on top again Om Bhagai Swaha Idam Bhagai Idam Namam This is for Moksha It's for the two of you to have spirituality Now Derusha, you're gonna now embrace the spiritualism of the Shusankar family So whatever Pujas that the Mr. Mr. Raymond and we will say but Mr. Mrs. but mommy and daddy 
is Jiva Prasad. Whatever pujas that they do as family, you are now going to take over. And with your family, you're going to start doing those pujas. So basically, for moksha, for spirituality, and for God realization. Om Dubyangane Paryaha Banta Suyo Vahato Nakshaha Puranaha Pati Bhyo Jayam Jayam Dhaha Agnai Om Prajab Om Prajapati Swaha Ilam Prajapati Ilam Navam This is now for eternal life. Now you notice the first three, I said that she must leave. There are certain things in life whereby the woman in our life plays that important part, where she takes the front step. There are certain things in life where we as men have to play our part, and we have to take the forward step. There is one thing in life where the both of us will always stand together. And that's for us to be together. There's no me and there's no you. Right? So hold a hand. This time not leading. This time walking side by side. Do one full round and come back. We're basically living in an age called Kali. Kali Yuga. Right? In Kali Yuga, it is said that whatever we do, there will be more negative values attached to it than positive values. Now, in our crowd here, you probably find there's a lot of people that may disagree with what I'm going to say right now, but it's a fact of life. We have to accept it. You will find in Kali Yuga, I'm sure this was an arranged marriage. I was told yesterday that uh, the, the main uh, instigator of this relationship is standing on that side with a scarf and a nice long... Uh, it was an excuse every time. Uh, hello, my friend. How are you, my friend? But meanwhile, while the friend was that side, the eyes were that side. It was a secret that was told to me yesterday. I have to say it. Okay, so it's no more a secret. Right. So what has happened is, starting from today, you will find at the larger community, the reason why I never give you this explanation before, I made you do the vow first, and then I'm giving you the explanation. Because the vow says that no matter what happens, you are always going to be by his side. That's why I made the two of you walk side by side, not one leading the other. The silent vow, that he will always be by your side. And come 20 years later down the line, when you have your Man, Man United team, soccer team and you are the coach of them all and you'll find that Dirisha is no more this beautiful sexy love that you have in front of you right now. <laughs> Obviously she's pure on a little bit, it's not great a little bit that way she grew a little bit on the other side. The love that you have for her right now must still be there. And I gave you an example yesterday of your mommy and daddy. For the number of years that they have been together, that we need to use as a role model, your mommy and dad as well. For those number of years that they have been together, that, that's how we are going to beat theirs. Coming down to very simple English, the two of you will never separate, no matter what happens. It will never happen. That's the vow that you have taken. If it goes to that level, you are breaking your vow that you take. And when you break that vow, the consequences will be there for you to the law of karma. The consequences will be there for you to pay for it. Okay. Two of you come over to the side. Okay. Perfect. Two right foot. Push this back a little bit. Ready? Pull this back a little bit. Yeah. Two right foot. Okay. You are stepping on a stone. Can that stone be broken? If that stone has to break, what do we require to break it? An external force. So, as this marriage is being put together, it's going to be rock hard like that stone. Only an external force is going to come in to try and break it. That's where the two of you have to stand steadfast together. That's where both of you got your right foot on that stone. You're going to stand steadfast together and you're going to break the external force before it attacks the stone. 
steps of life that you're going to be taking. You're going to be holding your hand all the time. Just as you're going to be holding your hand, you don't hold your hand. Hold it nicely. Like how you normally hold it. Don't try it. I mean, my mother and father doesn't mind it anymore. They've now officially given that to you. She's now yours. So, so give her that respect that she wants. Hold it nicely. You are now a protector. Look after her. Right foot. First step. Right foot. You too much? On the, on the grass. Right. Go near it to you. Don't, don't stand so far. Om Eka Vishthur Jagat Sarvaham Jatnam Yenchaha Charmanam Yitre Yashtyao Yashyatasya Sakshi Om Eka Padihi Bhavasya Ma Manu Vrataha Bhav Vishnu Stava Nayatyaho Putraham Vindhanaye Pahun Staha Statru Dashya Staha the dear Lord, we are taking this first step together as the newly married couple. That in our house, there will always be food and there will always be God. Second step. Don't step over the grass. Put it like this and just Yeah, there we go. Om Jiv Atma. Paramatma cha prithvi akasha meva cha surya chandraha matya tasya sakshi pra diyitaham om urjay dipataha bhagvasvaha mamuhu vrattaha bhavaha vishnu stoyan yatyuhu putraha vindavaha imanu santu jarat astrayaha This is for strength and for radiation. The radiation, when we get up in the morning, we should be offering puja. We offer puja to the sun. As much as the sun gives us energy at night, so does the moon give us radiation at night. So we want the sun and the moon to give us radiation and give us guidance so that we do not go, go out of line. Step three. Om Trigonas Chaha Trigdevas Chaha Trigtachi Sat Parmanyaha Lokatraha Shtri Sandhya Tasya Sakshi Pradiyataham Om Rayas Poshiha Tri Patihi Bhavasyaha Manu Prataham Bhava Vishnu Swaha Nayato Putran Vindavahe Bahunstehe Santu Jaraha Dashtayaha In order for our lives to be happy, for us to sustain, have sustainability in our lives, we need resources. Right? Now, I'm not going to go in detail and ask tell you what it is. We know what resources are. If you don't understand, then tell me, then I will further explain. Right? This is for the resources in our life. So we're going to go together. So it's not mine, it's not yours, it's ours. Step four. Om Mayo Bhavve Chatuspataha Bhavasaha Mam Nintu Vrattaha Bhavaha Om Vishnu Savadhyattu Putrahan Vrindai Pahanustha Sattu Jarad Asta Yaham In our life, we need happiness and we need spirituality. Our first vow, fourth vow, is to give us happiness and to give us spirituality. Fifth one. Om 
पंचमे पंच भूता पंच प्राणा प्राण यहाँ पुत्रि साक्षिण प्राण पंच ओं प्रजा पंचपति भावस्था मनुवृत्ता भाव विष्णुस्व अना पुत्राण विंदे बाये पाणु सन्तु जरत अस्त As human beings, we have to live a life, and in order to live a life, we need personal management. Right? You are there to take care of the management of these issues, and you are there to take care of the management of care issues. Sixth. Om Shastha Shastha Ritrunaham Cha Shankha Swami Kartikeh Shraddha Yatra Jayan. कहे कार्तिके ओम ओम विष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्णुत्वाष्ण
we have now come to the tail end of the wedding, whereby we have now taken the vows that we need to take with each other. The question that I have to ask you is, do you understand the vows, Terusha, that you have taken to Rakil? Rakil, do you understand the vows that you have taken to Terusha? Holding Terusha by her shoulders, make her sit on the side. Remember, I told you now, this is how you're going to do it every day now, right? <laughs> Can we have the links? enjoyed the, the proceedings. Pandji, I must compliment you on your oration. I've learned so much, but you perform a beautiful ceremony. And I think I've never seen a, a, a groom tippy toe behind his uh, bride before, but I think Rakhil's done an excellent job. Please give him a, a round of uh, applause. It, it's a mark of a good husband. I think they're going to do well. We, we now move on to the Sendur uh, Dan. And I must be honest, I went through one wedding myself, and I've witnessed a number. Okay. So, so we go through the Sendur, which represents uh, Sri Lakshmi Narayana. The Mangal Sutra represents Sri Rukmina Krishna. And then the Sendur is an important part of the, uh, of the proceedings, because they actually don't represent marriage to each other first. So we apply a number of, of dot tickers. The first one we offer to Lord Ganesha, and then we move on to, to the Mother Earth, who without we wouldn't be here and it's found our existence. And then finally, when we've done all of that, we move on to filling the mang with the sendur. The groom will place six dots on the middle of her um, hair part, and then the seven dot on her forehead. And the Sendur Mantra in English means, oh Deva, presiding over this marriage ceremony, kindly look upon this bride with kindness. Let them live forever with each other. May they be blessed with good offspring. So that was a lesson for me today. Uh, actually, after almost 20 years of being married, I didn't know why I put the Sendur on, but here I am with it very proudly. But that's the reason for, for applying the Sendur. We offer ourselves first to, to our maker, and then to marriage. Good. Okay, come to the rings. Ma, you will put the ring into the right hand ring of Rakil. Rakil, you will put the ring into the left hand ring finger. Here we are a little bit different from Western culture. Western culture calls the ring to be on the left hand of both partners' hands. In Eastern culture, in Hinduism, we say the right hand of the bridegroom and the left hand of the bride. And after you put the rings on, I will give the explanation as to why. Right, put him first. Om i gavoho nishi dayantoho, Om i shavaha i purushaha i ho shastraha dakshino, yajya i pushaha nishi dayantoho. Om Sastayi Vayu Muktraha Brahman Mahum Ayi Sumam Swastihi Bhuvan Yastraha Yaspatihi Brihaspatihum Sarva Agnam Swastihi Om Adikyai Sobhavan Tunaham Now hold it. Right. Now if you look at the two rings, 
can you see where they are? Right? Now that is why in Hinduism, as a man, we will keep the ring on our right hand ring finger. And as the lady, the thing will go. Going forward from today, wherever you go with her, that's how you will hold a hand. And you will, right? Courting days is not over. Courting days only starts now. Okay? Let's have the Mangal Sutra. You can put Mungo Sutra, Rakir. You will go between the veil and to the back, right? You can see where I am now. Om Suham Galiriyam Vandori Mahagvam Samtyaha Vashyaha Subhagya Mishyahe Dattvaha Yatastaham Vipritanaha Subhagya Strihi Savitraha Astav Subhagya Vam Bhavattuhu Ladies and gentlemen, I do know that you are a little bit hungry. Just please bear with me. I'm nearly, nearly done. But you know, I mean, Jerusha is our bride. So we have to make sure that everything is in order. We all know that Rakil is extremely nervous trying to put on the Mangal Sutra. Okay, Ma, can we go to the next? It is? Pavitra Vasar Vasanga to Yapiva, Yasme, Kundari Kakshasa, Maya, Yentra Astuchi, Ayom Sindhu. This is a very important part of a Hindu marriage. The applying of Sindhu onto the forehead and the mouth of the bride. Right? Applied by the bridegroom. Using your ring finger, you will touch the sindoor and your politika. Right? Just yeah, just between like this, where the third eye is. Right? Then you will take sindoor from here and you will apply on the mom. Right? Remember in the beginning I said to you I'm gonna ask you a very important question. The question is, how long do you think you plan to love? Or how long should you wish you wish that you plan to love? So you can be daddy, which is going to happen soon, <laughs> just say. And a couple of years, 20, 25 years time, grandfather, another 20, 25 years from there, I'll explain it in, in, in uh, Hindi, it sounds much easier, right? So it's papa, then it's dada, then it's paradada, then it's parparadada. Makes sense, right? Now this line determines the parparadala. You are allowed to put it from here to here. <laughs> okay, so you're going to do it seven times. Touch the thing, put a dot, fill the send door. Touch, dot, send door. Yeah, from here you fill it like that. Nice, make it nice and bright. Right, because this, you will see that as of today, when you step out of here, this wife of yours will transform herself into a goddess. And that's how you will look at it. Right. Om Mangalam Bhagavan Vishnu Mangalam Garu Radvaje Mangalam Pundari Kaksha Mangalai Tanu Hari Sarva Mangal Mangalye Shivesrava Sadhike Sharanyatra No, not, not to the point of it. 
खिलंगे त्रंगे गौरी नारायणे नमोस्तुते रमी रमी क्या रमी When we do Shraddha Puja, Shraddha Puja is that what we always do in life, coming down to death related pujas. We use our pointer finger. That's why when we threaten somebody, we always threaten them on a pointer finger. Anything that we do for ourselves, we use our middle finger. So if somebody does something wrong and you try to do that, you're not swearing that person. According to Shastras, you're actually swearing your own self. Right? The ring finger is to accept our fellow human beings. Right, so you're accepting her as the wife, so you continue to deal with the ring finger. The tiny finger is for friendship. Now we all never knew this, but even when we were little babies, little children, we said, what break our friendship or cut tea, what the uh, thing we used to say, pinky friend, pinky some, the pinky promise. That's right. So it actually, you see how it, that pinky promise actually relates to Hinduism. Right. How many you did, Nasa? Two, not the third one.
Behind the piano, behind the Dear devotees of God, a lot of you may have not seen this in a normal traditional wedding. But if you attend a wedding in India, this is a very important part of the wedding. It's almost the end. And in the end, we're going to say, each lady, as I said, I'm going to say eight mantras. So starting from the side, we're going to go across. The one that has the, the flower, the first mantra, you're going to sprinkle the flowers on it. Second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, all the flowers. Okay. Dear devotees of God, we've got eight ladies representing Ashta Lakshmi. Now, Mother Lakshmi in Hinduism is in eight forms, Ashta Lakshmi. And in those eight forms, our ladies are going to each one give to our bride the power of Mother Lakshmi so that as going forth she's going to become the Lakshmi of her new house and she's going to incorporate all eight forms of Mother Lakshmi Om Shri Radha Krishna Jaisai Akhanda Sobhagya Prapta Ho May the couple be as Radha Krishna We all know that Lord Krishna was in love with Radha but he ended up marrying Rukmani you study the Gita for those reasons, you will know why. But Radha was the goddess of love. She is the goddess of love. And in the same way, as of today, we have asked our beautiful daughter, Terusha, Terusha, that she is now accepted the form of Radha and she is in this relationship going to be the goddess of love. Om Shri Krishna Rukmani Jai Se Akhanda Sobhagya Prapto Now we know that Lord Krishna married Rukmani. Although he loved Radha so much, he was devoted to uh, Rukmani. In the same way, we are person going forward. Om Shri Krishna Kalindi Jai Se Akhanda Sobhagya Prapto Krishna Kalindi Om Shri Krishna Sat No, you don't have to be from Vyala in this people of flowers Om Shri Krishna Sat Bhama Jai Se Akhanda Sobhagya Prapta Ho Om Shri Lakshmi Narayana Jai Se Akhanda Sobhagya Prapta Ho Om Shri Shiva Parvati Jai Se Akhanda Sobhagya Prapta Ho Wait for me <laughs> Om Shri Brahma Savitra Jaisai Akhanda Sobhagya Prapta Ho 
ओम श्री छाया सूर्य नारायण जैसे अखंड सौभाग्य प्राप्त हो श्री सृद्धि सिद्धि गणेश जय से अखंड सौभाग्य प्राप्त हो सन रिपीट आफ्टर मी से हे देरुषा देवी आपको अखंड सौभाग्य प्राप्त हो होल्ड बाय शोल्डर्स बिकर Can we have the fathers up, please? Yeah, the ladies can go down. The mothers can stay. The mothers must stay. So this is the ladies' game. श्री कृष्ण कुशाल हम कारो धावत हम दात हो प्रजा यक्षुप्त हम निवीद्यत हम गाने हम यक्षा प्रतिदीना हम माना प्रत्यह पाद्य हम आमुष्य हम दान हम दंजे कृत्य मातुल हम दुर्गा आरिशम सदा गंगे के कालुपाप्तहारिहिदे यहम लक्ष्मी सदा त्रिश्चियो हो ओम मंगलम भगवान विष्णु मंगलम गरुरत दुजे मंगलम पुंडरी काक्ष मंगलाये चलो हरि सर्व मंगल मंगल ये शिवे सर्वासाधिके श्रन्ये क्रम के गाओरी नारा इनी नमोस्तुते ओम सहना भवतु सहना उपनक्तु सहाबीयम करवा महे तेजस नावरित मस्तु मावे विशा महे ओम असतो मा सद्गमया तमसोर मा जोतिर गमया मृत्युर मा अमृतम गमया ओम पूर्णम दहा पूर्णमिदम पूर्णा पूर्णम रच्छदि पूर्णस्य पूर्णमा धाया पूर्णमी वा विशिष्यते ओम सर्वेशाम स्वस्ते भवतु सर्वेशाम शांति भवतु सर्वेशाम पूर्णम भवतु सर्वेशाम मंगलम भवतु सर्वे भवंतु सुकी नहा सर्वे संतु निरामयम सर्वे बद्राणि पश्यंतु मा कश्चित्तु कभाग भवे ओम ज्ञाव शांति रंतर विश्वगम शांति प्रत्यवी शांति रापा शांति रोषदेव शांति वनस्वच्छ शांति विश्वदेव शांति ब्रह्म शांति रेवा शांति शामा शांति रेडी ओम शांति 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 ओम गच्छत्वं भगवन्तरा 
ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿಂ ಸ್ವಸ್ತಿ ಕುಂಜಮಾತ್ಯ ಹೂತಮಾತಃ ದಿವ್ಯ ಹೇ ಶ್ರೀ ದೇಹೀ ಪ್ರಸಿದ್ಧ ಹಮೀಂ ಗಚ್ಚ ಗಚ್ಚ ಶುಶ್ರೇಷ್ಠ ಸೃಷ್ಟ ಪರಮೇಶ್ವರಿ ಯತ್ರ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮಧ್ಯೋ ದೇವ್ಯ ತತ್ರ ಗಚ್ಚ ಹೂತ ಸ್ಥಾನ ಯಾಂತು ದೇವಘ್ನ ಸರ್ವಾ ಪೂಜಾ ಯದೇ ಮಾಂ ಇಷ್ಟಿತಾ ಸಂವೃತ್ತಮ ಓಂ ಪೂರ್ಣಮನ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಓಂ ಡಿಯರ್ ಡಿವೋಟೀಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಆಸ್ ದಿ ಅಫಿಷಿಯೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಪಂಡಿತ್ ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ದಿಸ್ ಹೋಲಿ ಸೆರೆಮನಿ ಬೈ ದ ಪವರ್ಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬೀನ್ ಗಿವನ್ ಟು ಮಿ ಬೈ ದ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಟು ಬಿ this or to be the officiating priest of this very beautiful ceremony on behalf of all the devis and devtas on behalf of the subramanyam family on behalf of the shri prasad family may i take this opportunity to provide to you mr and mrs shri prasad thank you very much i think it went a little bit longer than usual but i think it was because more of the english explanations so that i was asked to give explanations to everything that i was doing so that the couple would understand exactly what they were doing if i took up your time my apologies please partake and hand back to you to my other partner in french thank you ladies and gentlemen again a big congratulations to the new mr and mrs superstar please rise and give them a round of applause so i try to keep the you may sit down try to keep my my jokes clean or none at all but i think that it's it's the right time to say congratulations rakil and drew You've now promoted yourself from when will you marry to when are you going to have babies? <laughs> and yeah, the soccer team. And then another one and this is very important with my husband, my long suffering husband. But this is some piece of uh, some advice and I think a few of us will identify with this um, in the crowd. An anniversary lasts a day, but a forgotten anniversary survives the eventual heat of death of the universe and into the afterlife so never forget that anniversary dies or it dies from now yeah absolutely <laughs> <laughs> ladies and gentlemen thank you for your attention thank you for your blessings thank you for being here thank you for joining us in your finery we've got a few more items on our itinerary we've got a few speeches and then lunch but do do remain with us show your blessings uh, we've got tea after lunch so i think there might not be space for supper but i thank you for for your attention and your presence here thank you very much If we could ask the immediate family members to proceed onto the stage for the blessings.
hiding here. Ma has my phone number. Mummy has my phone number. <laughs> If you need any, you need to come back to us. Then you need to come back to us. and he landed up in hospital. So it just added to the to the flavor of the ceremonies and he had to include hospital visits as well. But uh, after a while, things came right and uh, the family would just like to thank everybody for the support during that period and uh, the prayer as well. Um, my first thank goes to God for Lucky of being able to get well in time for the wedding. And I believe during that period, Drew was just as stressed and we sort of thought that she was going to need a, a stretcher and a bed next to Lucky as well. But she seemed to have coped well, she looks good on this day. Another special thanks goes to our mother. Mummy was very supportive during this period with Ray and Kimmy. And uh, another special thanks goes to Mosi because I'm now not supposed to mention the load shedding, but it is what it is. And Mosi went with Kimi to go and sort out her outfit at the last minute as well. To Pandit Samsandar for officiating the wedding and the proceeds, proceedings up to the wedding. Thank you very much, Pandit. Everything went well according to plan. I believe you got a lot of phone calls as well, which uh, you mentioned. We're not going to say why or what, but. At the end, it all worked out great. To Sylvie, catering for the food, taste is in the pudding, so we still got to get to that. But uh, thank you for the catering. To Bashir for the decor, it looks absolutely wonderful. I'm sure everybody can vouch for their tables as well. JYM for the sound and music. Once people start eating, just turn up the volume a bit. We need to get the vibe going. To the family and friends who assisted with the wedding preparations. Before the wedding, during the wedding, during yesterday, during the thilak, everybody got together and just made it a success, which is absolutely great. And then thank you to everybody that is present here today for witnessing the union between Rakhil and Drew. It's a special day because you are basically their special guests. And an even special thanks to those that have traveled from far. To Kilani Club Country Club for the venue. It's an absolutely superb venue. And finally to Sagan and Sandra who are doing such a wonderful job for raising a wonderful daughter that Rakhil has chosen as his life partner. And not forgetting our MC that has done a wonderful job explaining everything in detail as well. And to the Subramanian family, welcome to the Superstar family. Thank you. Cheers, thank you, short and sweet. Uh, I'm glad you take instructions well. Uh, our 
our next uh, next speaker is, is Ness, coming from Verify, I believe. Uh, he has told me that he's brought an extra sparkle to the Subramanian family 13 years ago when he when he arrived. Uh, Nessa. Thank you very much, Rosh. Uh, namaste, Vanakam. Um, Assalamu alaikum. Um, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, it really gives me great pleasure to speak on behalf of the Subramanian family uh, this afternoon. So, first of all, um, executing a wedding of this nature, uh, lots of effort goes into it. So, we would like to thank a few people on behalf of the family who have really supported Sandra and Sagrin over the last few months in preparation for this big day. Uh, to Auntie uh, Razana, Mohammed and family, Uncle Ahmed and family, the Qasim family, the Juman family, the Karim family, um, Granny Bino, uh, Auntie Gladys and Auntie Dano, the Khans, Palais and Governors, Auntie Sylvie for the catering, Deco Bash for the, for the Deco. Uh, if, we have, if we have missed anyone, we do apologize, but we do want to thank all our family and friends for making the extraordinary effort, for also coming from long distances, to be part of the celebration. To the Superstar family, um, Uncle Ray, Auntie Kimi, Ma, Lee, and Suhani, we welcome the union of the Supersars and Subramanians. We are blessed to have two families that really show, share a common set of values. And may we continue to support Raquel and Darusha as our family now becomes one. Dirusha, you are looking absolutely stunning. I think she deserves a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. And Raquel, I think you look okay as well. <laughs> right. Raquel, on behalf of the Subramanian family, we'd like to thank you for taking Dirusha off our hands. <laughs> I know you've been quoting her for many years, but there's probably a few things that you don't know about Dirusha. And there are a few things we want to share with you about a successful marriage. I know it may be late uh, to share this piece of information, but better late than never. So, Raquel, in case you did not know, Dirusha really is a tough nut. She's sometimes moody, sometimes bossy. Sometimes she's tough and argumentative. But the one piece of advice, always remember Raquel, in an argument with Darusha, all you have to say is yes dear, I'm very sorry dear, and forgive me dear. If you remember those three words, you will be absolutely fine. Now, for those of you who know Dirusha well, she really is a smart woman when it comes to money. So, rest assured, Raquel, she will always save you immense amounts of money. And the smart lady she is about finances, all you have to know, and this is one piece of advice the Subramanians would like to give you, is that her money is her money, and your money is her money. So, please keep going with that. And, Raquel, there's one thing you probably didn't know about Dirusha. As a child, she was actually colorblind. She really struggled for a long time to know the difference between red, yellow, green, and blue. So, Raquel, if she ever asks you, do you prefer the red or yellow dress? I don't suggest you give an answer. Just rather say, honey, any color makes you look beautiful. <laughs> Raquel, on behalf of Sandra and Segrin, we welcome you into our family as another son. We know that you will shower her with all the love and care. We love you, Raquel as our own son, and we wish you a, ple a blessed life together. And Raquel, just remember, 
There is no money back guarantee on this purchase. <laughs> Finally, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to read out a very special message that Dirusha would like to convey uh, to all of you. And I quote, I want to thank mom, dad, and Divesh for everything they have done for me throughout the years. If it was not for you, I would not be the person I am today. I truly love you so much. I may not always show it, but I truly do. Words cannot express how grateful I am for everything you have done for me. You have instilled me with the values of respect, integrity, and care. And I truly appreciate all the opportunities you have given me. I will take these foundational values with me. I'm truly blessed to have grown up in a world where opportunities have no boundaries. Mom and Dad, you have given me a starting chance in life, far more than I could ever imagine. And Mom and Dad, just because I'm leaving your physical home, it does not mean that I won't be around to annoy you. <laughs> Today, I also want to say that I wish my grandma, the late Tulsi Ma, was here to witness this magical moment. But I know that she's watch watching and guiding us from above. Ma, I miss you and always love you. To my special girlfriends who made the journey to the wedding super special, a special thanks to Michaela, Narissa, and Travashni. Michaela, I want to thank you for being there throughout my journey, dealing with my moods, complaints on the stress, but you always made me laugh throughout the preparations. To the Suprasad family, Auntie Kim, Uncle Ray, Ma, Lee, and Sohani, thank you for welcoming me for being so warm, loving, and kind. You have never made me feel like an in-law, and I will always love and support your son and be part of your family. And lastly, to Raquel, also known as Puppy. <laughs> Thank you for accepting me, for being there for me, for understanding who I am, for standing beside me. No matter what the situation may be, you are amazing and I'm blessed to share this, this, this life journey with you. I will always love you. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much and enjoy the rest of the celebrations. Nathan, thank you for those very poignant and very touching words. We now move on to Batman and Robin. I believe they've got a very special delivery for us. Divi and MTRs have got some um, toe curling stories to tell, I, I believe. I've been warned to, to hang on to my seat. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Imtiaz, for those of you who don't know me. I've been given the privilege and honor of saying a few words on behalf of this lovely couple today. And first off, I would like to say thanks to each and every one of you who could join us and make this the most memorable occasion that we could ever imagine. So I was one of the lucky few that was there from the start for Daru and Rox. And it's been quite a journey, hey? Um, and it made me wonder because every single day, they love for each other grew, like no matter what. So I looked up what is love in the dictionary and I realized Oxford just threw a whole bunch of words to sound smart because seeing them together 
is actually what the proper definition of love is. And yeah, I would like to thank Drew for always being there and taking me as a younger brother and guiding me through life. And Rox, from the last six years, has been one of a kind, from playing pool together at Uncle Sagran's house to cheating when we play Rami and going on holidays together. I would also like to thank, thank Auntie Kim and Uncle Ray for blessing and raising your child with such honor and dignity. Thank you. Yes to new beginnings. Afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Um, everybody knows that I'm Batman, so it's okay. Um, I'm Derisha's younger brother. Firstly, I'd like to thank everyone who has come to join us, join the Supersides and the Subramanians on this special occasion, to witness the coming together of two individuals, not just in marriage, but a bond between families. Now, to the couple, Rax and Drew. I know after this, they're probably gonna kill me, but it's a story worth telling. A small disclaimer, Rux, uh, where was I now? A small disclaimer, yes. Um, in the events that happened that night, it may have been altered, <laughs> but I'm going to tell the story. Rux, Ray and I have been having a major obsession of watching horror movies. And one night in our lounge, Drew was laying on the floor, Rux was on the couch, and I was holding candle as usual. <laughs> Um, Rux, being the fidget person that he is, decided to bug Derusha. But little did I know that there was a love story brewing. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry Rux, I had to do this. Just a small note, Drew and I have a hatred for feet. And this is how it happened, guys. This is how it happened. So, yes, with the hatred of feet, I had to wash Rax's feet yesterday at the Tilak, which was very tough for me, but I'm still alive. <laughs> okay, so, during the movie, Rax decided to take his big toe and place it on Drew's big toe. And being Drew, she didn't even back off, which is very unusual. And that's when I knew wedding bells are gonna start ringing. <laughs> You know what, I had to do this, shakes wherever you are, hashtag big toe love, <laughs> you owe me a hundred bucks. <laughs> Drew, I'm very proud of you. Your achievements in life have always been inspirational to me. I could never ask for a more unique and crazy sister. As you know, no matter how weird our bond is, the love for each other, and how weird and random we are together, I would always love you. Rux, I could never ask for a better brother-in-law. It's better to have someone that you love as a friend and as a brother that's going to be marrying your sister than someone that you don't like. <laughs> um, yeah, where was I? <laughs> Rux and Drew, I wish you many years of happiness, oh and love, and let's not forget the three to six children that you're going to have. I love you guys, and God bless. And everyone here, don't forget, hashtag Big Toe Love. <laughs> Gentlemen, thank you. I did say it was going to be toe curling. Clearly it was. <laughs> thank you very much again. Um, lunch is going to be served in the next 10 to 15 minutes. And we've got the Kitchi Kawai happening, and if you are participating on the far of my right. And uh, after that's concluded, we are going to have a quick round of congratulations. And then Rahil and uh, Drusha will um, proceed to photographs, and then they will come back. If you wish, you may join us for tea after you've had that very sumptuous lunch. And on behalf of, of everyone here, I'd like to usher some more blessings on you. And I've read this at a number of other occasions, and I love it to bits. And it's an Irish marriage prayer, and it says, May love and laughter light your days, 
and warm your heart and your home. May good and faithful friends be yours wherever you roam. May peace and plenty bless your world with love and joy that long endures. May all of life's passing seasons bring you the best to you and yours. Ladies and gentlemen, Godspeed, God bless, and thank you very much. Hi Dave, I'm Lakio. You should probably all know who I am, and if you don't, well done for sneaking in unnoticed. We all get to make something truly magical, something so rare and wonderful that it simply must be celebrated. I'm of course talking about the Charles. Now, nothing beats a wedding biryani with one to lacquer up to the potatoes. And hey, I'm watching you. I don't want to aunties about a Tupperware to take some child home. But as you go on favor, please keep some child for me, huh? If you're not accustomed to Indian weddings and wondering where all the meat is, the real boss is a Nando's up the road. Wait a couple of minutes after the wedding and you can buy a map your gosh. Now that we've got the formalities out of the way, let's get to the serious part. I would like to take thank the most special people to me. Mom and Dad, wow, how do I even express in words how much I love you guys? I don't think anyone would realize how much I put you guys through, but I promise you, all that nagging, moaning, fussing won't stop. I will come home on Saturdays to still chow my favorite tafti and curry, and will still complain about it, not having enough salt, or it being just too mild, just to keep you on your toes. To be honest, I don't feel I've done enough to repay you for the amount you've done for me. You guys are truly incredible, and I wish I could replicate what you guys have done for me when I have a kid one day. At the beginning, I felt I would fail without your support, but I soon realized that both of you, through your many years of teachings, have nurtured me into an individual strong enough to fend myself in absolutely anything. I know Dad, you once called me a rhino in your analogy, that I break down every obstacle that comes in my way. I continue to keep that as my motivation. And thank you, Dad, for that current motivation. Mom and Dad, you've taught me that ego, pride, and arrogance have no place in this world. And I genuinely feel that although I'm not perfect in all of these all the time, your teachings have always kept me humble. Everything that I am today is because of you. Mom, I know you almost also most probably think I don't realize how much you do for me and have done for me. But trust me, I'm grateful every day for everything. From the food, making sure I'm healthy, and that I don't look like a bush baby. It must be hectic feeding a fussy child like me. I understand the stress I put you under. But in the end, Mom, you made me into a solid individual. I love you, Mom, and I love you, Dad. I'm also really sorry for putting you under so much stress when I was sick in the last few weeks. But without your love, I wouldn't be here today. Ma and I, you've both been an extension to my parents. You've always been there looking after Lee and I. Although I might have not shown my appreciation enough, please know that I cherish all the things you have done for me and I love you both very, very much. To my brother Lee, as all of you know, I give all those that are close to me nicknames. For example, Mr. Shakes, Babu Favo, In Essence, Pippi, Rod. But to those that are blood and super close to me, I call them fat. I can't even remember when the last time I called Lee by his name. To me, he's fat. I know you're all wondering, like, what the hell? Why is the fat brother calling the shape brother fat? Don't question it. If you haven't heard it already, wait till you hear what he called me. Fat, I don't think I thank you enough. But to be honest, I don't know how I would have survived without an older brother like you. I'm sure everyone would agree with me. You're honestly tailored by our parents to be the most humble, genuine, and amazing person ever. 
were the epitome of awesomeness. You never have to, but you always did. I had a tough time in school, and you still found ways to keep me entertained out of your expense. There were always, you were always there for me, and I will always be there for you. Thank you, Fat. I love you, brother, and you're going to be an amazing father. To my sister, Sohani, I still remember the day Lee told me about you after he took you for your second driving lesson. He told me she's the one. I'm going to marry her. Look how time flies. Now we're married and one mini you two on the way. Thank you, Sue, for always making me the best shower, the best hairstyle. I stand to be corrected, but I think Drew laid eyes on me after you chopped my hair. If it wasn't for your Sue the Elegance, I wouldn't be sitting here on the stage today with this beautiful person next to me. Thank you, Sue, for being a bigger sister to Drew and I, and always giving the best and honest advice. You're truly going to be a super awesome mom. And thanks for introducing me to your super awesome family. To the real OGs, Uncle Alan, Auntie Pamela, Sister Nalix, and my brother from another mother, Sai. People get confused because I chill in my bike to check my brewing law, and they're like, but that's Lee's brewing law. My response is like, yeah, you're right. It's not my brewing law, he's my brew. Shock Dr. Sadesh for being an overmother grew to me. It is rare to be blessed by so many good people. However, it is uncanny to be blessed with amazing in-laws. I am so used to calling my father-in-law uncle and my mother-in-law auntie. But I guess in normal instances, it would be difficult to switch. But then I realized I've been calling my brother-in-law Bible for the beginning of time. And to realize the way I have been treated and accepted into this family by you uncle and auntie, it would honestly be easy to start calling you based on how you've all treated me. To my new mom, dad and brother, thank you for welcoming me so warmly into your family. Thank you for always treating me with utmost respect. And thank you, thank you for allowing me to date your amazing daughter. You've done so much for me already. To express my thanks in words will never be enough, but it's my promise that I'll always protect your beautiful daughter and I'll always try to give her the best that I can possibly provide. I will always, always be her strength when she is weak. Durusha, my love, like many good love stories, the ones that stand out the most are not the conventional ones, but rather those that are unconventional. I still remember the day we met to discuss this mysterious love between us. I remember even saying that I like you so much that I'm willing to sacrifice anything to be with you. And the regret of not being with you would be too much for me to handle. We were young, maybe selfish and immature, but I promise you the one thing we did not have control over was this love that was destined for us. Oh God! hasn't always been roses and rainbows. But the beauty of why we're sitting here today and getting married after six years of dating is because even though we had our fair share of disagreements, we were always able to get out of any hardships, no matter how severe it was. For that, I respect both of us. With this, I know we will share many, many happy trips together. You were with me when I had nothing. You loved me for me and absolutely nothing else. I don't ever think I'll be able to repay you. I admire everything about you. Your strength, having this big heart, but also not tolerating crap from no one, including me. You're the one person that I actually listen to without admitting. You always put me on the right track. And for this, I'll do anything for you. I'm so sorry I put you under so much stress this last few weeks. But the thing that kept on giving me strength to get better was to see you smile today and see you in your beautiful dress. So that do us part, my world, Rusha. I would like to also give my thanks 
to all those that made this day special. I initially wrote all your names down, but the list was just way too long to be mentioned here. From the bottom of my heart, I really, really want to thank all of you for going out of your way and making this wedding really magical and special. I would like to thank all those who also went out of their way to pray and wish for my speedy recovery to make it to be here today. Really, thank you all. I hope you all have a lucky time and I hope you enjoy the chance. to call Priyan to say his last few words. Okay, there he is, sorry, he's right at the back of the, the venue. There comes a time in everyone's life when they meet their true love. Their soulmate, the person they're going to know and love for the rest of their lives. That came for Rux nine years ago when he met me. <laughs> I guess I should introduce myself for those who don't know me. I am Priya and I'm Rakil's best friend. Sorry, Divi, I'm pretty sure this was his plan all along. I would just I would just like to say how beautiful all of you look today. I'm glad to see that everyone made such a great effort. But our bride looks absolutely stunning today. And it's clear to see how Rux has become so enchanted by her. But to be honest, her beauty is making Rux look a little bit more handsome than he actually really is. Rux and I have made it through nine years of friendship. And at this point, I would call him a brother. And naturally, as a brother, you adopt your brother's characteristics. And these characteristics are his positive outlook on life, no matter the situation, his ability to remain optimistic at all times and tackles all these hurdles courageously. His honesty, kindness, and integrity continues to inspire me. However, there is this one trait that I would not like to adopt from Rux, and that is his dance moves. <laughs> Why, some of you might be thinking this, is that a few years ago, we were on our way leaving a bar. There comes Rux walking down the stairs, and with a couple hip thrusts, he manages to twist his ankle. And bear in mind, he was a sober driver that day. It is amazing that we're actually here today, celebrating this heartwarming moment with Rux and Drew. I mean, the last few months have been an emotional roller coaster, with Rux being either slammed into a wall, having chicken pox, and having a blood clot in his lungs. I mean, if you didn't want to get married, you should have just said so. <laughs> and, and I know for a fact that I know that you want, not want to be, you would love to be here no matter what. I'm just kidding about that. And speaking of the love of your life, Drew, I would just like to say that you're truly special to all of us. And the, you, are a, you, are the, you're, you make Rux's world complete. With you by his side, I know he can conquer anything. On that note, I would like to wish you guys nothing but the very best, not only for today, but for many years that lie ahead. May you be showered with beautiful opportunities, exciting adventures, and the many blessings along the way. Love you guys. Ladies and gentlemen, that's it. That is my final goodbye. Our proceedings have come to an end. Lunch is served, buffet style, at the end of the, uh, the hall. Please enjoy, and we'll see you shortly for the congratulations. Thank you.